Minya, please. I'm Hasmik, I'm from Armenia, from Analytical Center on Globalization and Regional Cooperation. And it is my pleasure to speak here at our joint event together with the Association Institute for Public Policy and uh, with the Georgian colleagues Caucasus Institute for Peace, Democracy and Development. And the event is funded by the German Marshall Fund Black Sea Trust. Uh, we live in the digitized era with uh, modern technologies and it is very important to use all these online tools uh, to ensure more efficient contact between the government and the people. And uh, also I am very grateful that our Armenian government representative is here with us and together with our civil society representatives we came here to exchange our joint experience and work towards a stronger transparency in our countries. Uh, so I will start uh, a couple of words about Armenia in order you have a small insight about our country and then move towards the new technologies. Uh, we gained independence in uh, 1991 and uh, it was uh, in 1990s it was a difficult uh, time social and economic so it wasn't uh, the right time to develop uh, the new technologies so online tools in Armenia developed in mid 2000s. And then in order to, as Armenia is, uh, going to, is in transition towards democracy, Armenia started to join international organizations and international agreements. So, um, so we are a member of Council of Europe, of the OSCE, and also we work with the European Union in the framework of Eastern Partnership. And among uh, international commitments is also the Open Government Partnership, which is aimed at new technologies, transparency and accountability. So um, I'll speak about the state bodies of Armenia. So it is the government, president's institute, prime minister, ministries, state agencies and power forces. Then comes the courts. We have the free level court system. So courts of first instance, courts of appeal, Court of Cassation and Constitutional Court. And the legislation, the legislative power belongs to the Parliament, to the National Assembly of Armenia. Uh, so moving to the te modern technologies, the positive steps uh, undertaken by Armenia is the e-government initiative. So we have the a website eGovAM which gathers together uh, all the online tools which were initiated by our government. And then comes the electronic letter. This is the tool um, you can write an email to the president office or to the government uh, and receive the answer. And it can be assessed as a positive step because previously it was a rather long procedure to get an answer. Then uh, the government's uh, ministries publish on our online reports and we have uh, legal informational portals. Uh, of course, uh, all those four <coughs> steps uh, do not work perfectly. There are minuses, but also pluses, but the, the real fact that it does exist already is good. And then the Open Government Partnership Initiative uh, started in 2011 and working group was created and commitments were adopted according to the two action plans. I will not focus too much on this because our government representative will sp speak about it more in details in the next session. Um, but thanks to the OGP and uh, other initiatives, we have different uh, commitments that were um, partially or fully done. So this is the state electronic payment system and people can pay the fees through the online portal and then system for car inspection and licensing so you can register online your vehicle or acquire technical passport and etc. 
and also we have e-documentation sharing system in urban communities. Mulberry system was uh, implemented in Armenia in order to share the documentation in urban communities. And then the FXAM website was established for transparency of asset and declarations. Uh, here I would uh, speak about the minuses because uh, this was included into the first action plan and now it is um, transferred to the sec second action plan as well uh, because some parliament members and high-ranking officials either reported not fully or um, partially or do not report about the, their incomes and assets but uh, in, in case they start implementing it more effectively the trust of people would raise towards the, our parliament members and officials. And then there is the budget planning in order the government have more, a, a better system of budget planning and expenditure. Uh, and also I'd like to speak about review regulatory normative legal acts. Many legal acts are shortened in order to make different processes m more easier for the citizens. Uh, so there are um, online websites such as eregister.am where you can, if you have a legal entity, you can register it online and then see who are also registered. And uh, this ethics AM, I already spoke about it. It's about declaration of assets of high-ranking officials. Uh, Datalex AM is a tool for our courts where you can uh, see a civil or criminal cases and then Arlis AM is the website where you can find the laws and legal acts. Uh, and these, the last two are uh, the civil society initiatives and my colleagues from Soros Armenia and Aspares Club will explain it during the next sessions more in details. One is the parliament monitoring.am or regarding the parliament members of Armenia and public data is about budgets and expenditure. Uh, so things that still need to be worked on, uh, so it's uh, ensure transparency of asset declarations. Many high-ranking officials, including parliament members, do not report on their income or assets or report not fully. The budget planning, the present format of the budget does not help in understanding whether the government of Armenia is achieving its sectoral goals and whether the money is used efficiently. So uh, the, technically the online tools exist, but analytically and practically they must be more efficient. And our organization has also done some research together with, uh, we have interviewed several 20 free journalists and also 20 NGO representatives and five government officials. And we identified the following challenges that are uh, the OGP and generally the online platforms face currently in Armenia. So it's updating the information. Um, sometimes uh, the websites are not updated in a timely manner. Uh, then the, all these tools must be implemented effectively. And uh, or some people mentioned that government gives only the information that is favorable for themselves and they expect more objectivity from government. Then we found out that also there is some mistrust towards our government and the officials. Uh, another problem is that uh, many people, and especially in the regions, do not know about these tools or do not know how to use it. Uh, then people also expect stronger political will and less formality, so stronger civil society government ties. And also some people mentioned about cyber security problems. Yeah, and this is uh, all from my side and I will be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to all of you because you have uh, been sitting here uh, for 
more than three hours, four hours. May I suggest that we take a break, but before doing that, with your permission, I'd like to ask um, the what I call the heart of this place, and this is Tamina, to join me just to say a few words of the space where you are. I think that it's a beautiful place which, which grew up in the last three months, four months from like not zero, minus zero, that was in here to what it is today. This is the heart of this place. I love her very much, and I would like her to say a few words about where we are because it's really impressive. Um, in the near future, I think that you will be seeing IPP more involved in what's going on in this place. Um, but for the moment, I'd like her to say a few words. Very simple, Romana, and Romana, in English. Wherever you are. Uh, uh, so. Welcome here in our makerspace. Uh, my name is Tamina Lolev. I'm an architect. I'm one of the founders of this place. Uh, so what is this makerspace? Uh, it's a, 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 a former industrial space um, where we have uh, tools and equipment and we have a big community that uses all this, all the space and all the equipments in order to uh, build their own pro prototypes that uh, normally they couldn't do uh, at home. Um, so here we provide uh, again tools, equipment, a community with the um, uh, people. Uh, so. Uh, Anyone who comes here and uh, needs uh, an advice or um, uh, someone to be to come in their project, um, they they find someone. I'm sorry, I'm not very prepared. <laughs> but in fact, uh, when did you start? the main more than three months. Yeah, yeah, we started in uh, November. Uh, we created uh, the project on the paper, then uh, we did a beautiful presentation, and then we went to different companies and presented our project, and everybody loved our project, loved uh, from the beginning. And uh, we had um, some support from a few companies with materials and uh, for the design. Um, and then in December, the construction st site started. Uh, we had uh, a few workers working for us uh, for cleaning the space and everything because it was a mess before. It was a non-used space, a big space unused. Um, and then in March, uh, the workers uh, finished their job and uh, we came with uh, our friends, uh, 15 friends maybe, and we built everything you see here, all the furniture and everything. Uh, and in uh, May we finished uh, the whole uh, project. But, um, uh, and there are, still, there are still details to finish, but uh, we're working on it. So, uh, no, I hope you enjoy it. And maybe you will come back to see uh, the, the people projects, the projects of the people here. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much, scusa ma te rog, dar am simțit nevoia să... Uh, I, I just felt for our Romanian folks uh, the, the need of uh, uh, letting you know that the space is open any time you would like to come and visit and uh, in case you are interested in the community that is working here, you may want to go uh, online since we are talking about this. Uh, these tools and learn more. Um, there is a space over there for those who have kids with all sorts of activities for children. Uh, and as I said, there is a roof terrace that we will visit later on, hoping that the weather will be nice because uh, we were told that there must be a storm at some time in an hour or so. Anyway, would you help me to come back in like 15 minutes and then have the last presentation in this format, please. 15 minutes of break. Thank you very much. And we'll be back uh, for the last session. Please do not forget to register in case you are interested in the group talking about applications to increase the transparency of the parliament. There is, there is a group that will discuss the challenges in that uh, field. One on um, fiscal uh, issues, uh, taxes, and so on. There is one on justice, um, and the, 
last one is we called it uh, open cities, instruments to open the cities towards the citizens. So we'll talk. Raluca is in charge with these technical aspects. She's over there. Please let her know where would you like to be registered. Smoking, smokers, the smoking place is on your right. Or on your right, please, in the uh, open space on your right. Thank you. 